The illustrious managerial career began at Boston back in the 1800s. <laughs> well, not quite. 1969, to be for... precise. Player manager in those days, alongside the likes of Howard Wilkinson. And 33 years on, Jim Smith still looks as fit as a fiddle. <laughs> Assistant manager at Coventry now, but are you still a Boston fan at heart? Yeah, I mean, obviously, I've got a lot of teams I look for, but I'd, Boston is uh, one of the near closest to heart because that's where, where it all started, you know, and I had a, um, a great relationship uh, with a great chairman, uh, Mr. Malkinson, the best chairman I've ever had, and uh, um, the, the Malkinsons are still connected to Boston. So Apparently, um, Jim, back then, as well as being player manager, you performed the secretarial duties, you run the club lottery, uh, you dug new drains, you concreted the car park, and you decorated the boardroom. Is that true? True. I always worked going back with the teams I've been managing in league clubs. I think I went back about 10 years later with QPR and the, the wallpaper was still on, so I must have done a good job. <laughs> <laughs> I must have done a good job. It's all changed since then, of course. Uh, is this current side good enough to get into the league, do you think? Well, uh, obviously, the, the, the league position says they are. I um, mean, they've got a great chance tonight to get a result that will take them above to the top of the table. and. Uh, they, they, they've been very well. Both these sides have been very consistent all season, mm. and it's going to be very close. But they, I, I believe that they've got the uh, the ability to 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 go into the league, and which would be fantastic uh, for for that area. Currently in the studio uh, is Jim Smith, who tells me he broke his first cup at Boston uh, as a player manager, and Tony Cotty as well. Who did you throw your first ever cup at, by the way? I think it was Malcolm White, the goalkeeper. But uh, I know I just threw it in frustration.